Hello, I'm Patricia Silva with your SCB News Break for Monday, March 14th. A fatal shooting in Canyon Country has left one man dead and the alleged shooter detained at the Santa Clarita Sheriff's Station. The alleged shooter is a resident at the apartment complex at the 2600 block of Isabella Parkway in Canyon Country. He is currently being detained at the Santa Clarita Sheriff's Station and pending additional investigation. The alleged shooter said the act was in self-defense. An informant in the call placed to police stated that he shot a male who broke into his apartment while he was home. According to witnesses, the alleged intruder was pounding on the door and broke the window at the tenant's apartment. The tenant said he told the suspect to leave several times, but he ignored him. When the suspect broke the window and started to climb inside, the tenant shot him. He suffered, he, he suffered from multiple gunshot wounds before dying at Henry Mayle Newhall Hospital. A man jumped off the 14 freeway onto Via Princesa shortly before 9 Monday morning in an apparent attempted suicide and survived. The unidentified victim appeared to have fairly minor injuries, including facial injuries and possibly a broken nose and arm, according to local authorities. He has been transported to a local trauma center. We are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, a local high school senior needs your help in making movie magic. Plus, Local high school students win big at a television network conference. Stay tuned. Hey! So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Hey, George, there's breaking news. AM 1220KHTS, I'm George Cummings with breaking news here in the Santa Clarita Valley. As it turns out we have an emergency situation Let's going go. on. Ready in five, four. Breaking news from the Santa Clarita Valley. There's an emergency situation happening in Saugus right now, and our news crew is on the scene with more information. Welcome back, I'm Patricia Silva. Hart High senior and aspiring filmmaker Luke Peckham is taking on his biggest film project yet, but he needs your help to make the movie magic happen. Check it out. I'm, I'm raising money through GoFundMe and at school. I've been selling products like um, shirts, stickers, and posters, all correlated with the film. I, I've always just been working out to making bigger and better things, and so this one will be definitely my longest film I've made so far. We're expecting it to be around 20, 25 minutes. In essence, the film is going to boil down to a metaphor of like the human race, race trying to survive, like um, extinction against a planet that's dying. So it boils down to taking the entire human race to one human being, and the the span of crossing space to try to get to another planet that would that we'd be able to survive in is going to be correlate with, with a desert planet that he's going to be on. So I wanted to try to get something that looked sort of otherworldly. So I thought the first thing that came to mind, came to mind was Joshua Tree National Park. So I'm going to be filming there, and then he's going to end up trying to find a um, a place where there's going to be water where he can survive. That's going to hopefully be Zion National Park. West Ranch High School news and video production team brought home four awards from this year's Student Television Network convention. Placerita Junior High School also received four honorable mentions. The students traveled to Atlanta, Georgia and attended the convention from March 10th through March 13th. Now turning to weather, this weekend's clouds disappeared, leaving mostly sunny skies and a pleasant 68 degrees. Watch out for the winds tonight, though, as they will be reaching up to 20 miles per hour. Keep in mind those will last through Wednesday. But expect lots of warm weather this week. Wednesday and Thursday will be the warmest with temperatures in the low 80s. Looks like spring came early this year. Friday temperatures will start slowly dipping down into the 70s, but will remain sunny. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Patricia Silva.